just recently I started this YouTube channel in less than a month, I got more than 2000 subscribers and 60,000 views. Thank you friends for that, I really appreciate your attention, your likes, your comments, but unfortunately, I have to admit, I lied to you. And this channel is run not by me, it's Judge PT. Stop, 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 wait to unsubscribe guys. Let me explain everything in order and tell you how GPT can help you run your like business, online resources and save your time from the boring work like management, advertising, optimization and more, leaving only creative process for you. So you are interested? I thought so. What's up everyone? This is your boy Steel17, a musician, producer and part-time designer who've been in this field for more than 8 years and today I'm going to tell you how I optimize my workflow and how you can do it right now. So are you ready? I am. Let's go to the way. But well, before we move on, I ask you to hit the like on this video and subscribe on this live channel. So is not to miss out of videos about the design and artificial intelligence. Over 95% who watch my channel are not subscribed and probably won't see new video when it comes out. So I'd love for you to subscribe and stay up to date on new videos. Thanks for your attention. And now we are ready to get started. So first of all, I want to say when I had an idea to start this YouTube channel, when I came up with the first topics for my scripts, I immediately thought that it's gonna be super fun to give in my new YouTube channel to ChatGPT for management. And if everything will work, make another video about it. But I will tell you how I use ChatGPT to improve my SEO optimization on the YouTube and on another social platforms. And yeah guys, after the month of hard working, here is the video. Because strangely enough, but my ChatGPT manager worked perfectly for me. In general guys, what is the SEO optimization and why is it needed? You have probably all come across like hashtags, description, titles on various platforms from YouTube and Instagram to the Pinterest and Reddit. All this data is needed to optimize user search query and provide the necessary content that user is looking for. For example, you want to know where to start AI art and you search in a Google and YouTube, it doesn't matter where to sell AI art. But sometimes if you know what are you looking for, you can formulate your request in the wrong way. And if there are no tags, no titles, no description, no C optimization at all, you would get not what are you looking for. So proper spelling of the text, titles, description will help the any platform to understand what kind of content you are looking for and give you the best result. Even if your query is vague and has not exact question. That's why for example in my videos you will find an elaborate description, text and additional searching text to make my videos appear to the interested people. Usually writing text, see optimization was done by professionals special people who could find the right search query, come up with some clickbait titles for the video, write the right title for a thumbnail, write a short and clean description for the video. They use special apps, a good example of such an application is a VidIQ for the YouTube. But you don't need them anymore guys, because we have a ChatGPT. Of course, you can say it's quite logical bro, because we all know that ChatGPT can generate kinda realistic answers to any questions and you probably came across how people use ChatGPT as a copywriter at the beginning of this AI artificial intelligence boom, making perfect slogans, product descriptions, advertisement based on the ChatGPT answers. But here is a secret to do really, really, really good optimization for your content, no matter what it is, video, post, product, physical product, online product, lesson, book, it doesn't matter. You need to know a couple of tricks and tips that will help you get more truthful, but most important importantly, original answers from your ChatGPT. And today I'm gonna show you how I did it for my YouTube channel and how to do it for you. So to make a really nice ChatGPT manager, we need to perform three actions. First one, personalize your ChatGPT. This step is really important because you need to make GPT feel no longer as AI text model. The second one, introduce him to the project so he understands what are you going to do with him together. ChatGPT is he or she. I can call it it, fuck, he's smarter than me and all my fucking friends and I told the entire world, guys, so so he's kinda alive right now. So on last but not least, assign him the necessary task. Well, it depends on what you want to do and each request will be different. The second and third point I think is kinda understandable and everyone can handle it, but what about the personalization? You can personalize the ChatGPT with a special prompt. Such prompts you can find on the GitHub, on the online resources. By the way, I will leave the 
the link on their GitHub page with a personalization prompt on the description and the pinned comment. But we will go to the another way guys, like as always, especially for you and for this video, I made a special ChatGPT bot which is able to write personalization prompts for another ChatGPT. Yes, ChatGPT write a prompt for another ChatGPT. It is an Inception movie guys, it's just a YouTube video. Don't be afraid guys, everything is super simple and if you have never used ChatGPT before, you can make an adjustment in two clicks, follow my steps and you will get it. So go to the link that I leave in the description and pin comment to a document called personalization for ChatGPT. So copy the first prompt, go to the ChatGPT, make a new chat and paste it and wait for a response. So as you can see, ChatGPT is generated as a like test, personalization prompt, but we're not interested in this one. So how we can create our own personalization prompt for our ChatGPT manager? Super easy. Just go to these documents again and see you can find the prompt for generation. This is a super, super simple formula. Hi, I need personalized prompt for GPT chat which should do the job. So here in the brackets, you can write the job for your ChatGPT. And then his duties include and write what he need to do for you. That's super easy. So here is my example. Hi, I need personalized prompt for GPT chat, which should do the job of AI manager. So why not? His duties include the write text, titles and professional selling descriptions for AI art posters using my short description about the images. That's easy. Copy this one like an example, paste it to our GPT and wait for response. 30 seconds of your time and now you have a perfect personalized prompt for your ChatGPT. So what we can do with this? Now just copy this prompt, make another chat with another ChatGPT and paste it. Wait for a response and now your personal manager ChatGPT is ready to work. So for example, I can, uh, so I can go to my art station, like copy the description, paste it and say like write me 10 titles and tags for the pack of images using this description. So why not? Description gonna be below. And here is it. My chat GPT is making perfect SEO optimization titles. That's so fucking easy, guys. I can give him like just a little piece of my script for the video. Ask him to write text, titles, description. It's gonna be done like in a few seconds. So now what you have to do is just choose the few options that you like and paste it. So I did the exactly same thing with my YouTube channel. As you can see here, I have a lot of YouTube managers and every of this chat was made for one video for my channel. And as you can see, I can even ask him to generate me like 10 fun meme tweets about the video to PR it on the Twitter, there is no problem. So if you need the PR manager for your Instagram or professional marketer for your store, just write down what skills your ChatGPT should have, generate the prompt for your GPT expert, tell a few words about yourself if you want and ask him to do the task. That simple guys. So guys, in conclusion, what I want to say, all the videos for my channel, description of the channel, the channel tags and even the name of the my channel was done by ChatGPT. Yes, it is. And you have no idea how surprised I am that it actually works. But honestly, guys, tagging, optimization is all good. But no one tells you that ChatGPT or any other neural networks can do the work for you. Even with tools like ChatGPT, I still write the scripts by myself, record and edit the videos by myself, all memes in my videos made by myself, not to mention the thumbnail design and other things that I was doing and I'm doing by myself. It's it's all on me and honestly guys I can give you exact statistic what actually gave the growth to the channel. Good optimization from ChatGPT or the content itself. By the way, write the comment what do you think about it and how you are going to use your personal manager ChatGPT. I have a couple of ideas how I can check for sure if neural networks can make a perfect product and generate the content that's gonna be interesting for the people, but I'll make another video about it a little bit later. Use neural networks, use ChatGPT make your life easier, make your work easier. But don't forget that neural networks, artificial intelligence are only the tools and all the success depends on you, your ideas, your decisions and your desire. So thank you for watching. It was still 17. Subscribe on the channel, subscribe on my subreddit where you can find more interesting topics about artificial intelligence, where we can chat, where we can share with some information. See you next week. Bye.
fuck yeah, we did it. Now the video is done.